Time for another modding evening with Fukumoto Crazy Scanlation Group. I've been uploading at many videos lately due to exams coming up. So I'm really glad to record another video. And it's a really fast call before his first discard even. I'm thinking maybe I should have kept that red 8 instead of throwing it. Simply because I don't think I'm gonna get the use of my wins anyway. And the question is do I try to keep the Dora and make a hand with it? Or do I just get rid of it for some stupid cheap Tanya or something? I'm really not sure. I have so many things connecting here that the Tanya might be better to go for. Hmm. I guess I'll see. It depends on the next few draws I get, if I get more things connecting or not. I'm not really feeling... I mean, I can go for the calls, but then I just rip apart my hand. Beginning of the Hero Forge show. I really don't like the Hero Forge show. I also have no idea what to expect from Biggie. I've never played with him before. And Sonic here is honoring his discard. I'm gonna have trouble. My next to discard. I mean, I have the two fives that are safe. I don't think it's worth going for some stupid cheap Tony out here, though. Not dealer or anything, so there's no really any point. Besides, to get into Tempo, I'd probably have to throw this one, and that's way too dangerous at the current state. I could have tried to keep the 6 and make a hand, but this just seems a waste. Because even if I make a hand, it's gonna be some cheap, crappy hand. Just don't see any point. And at this point, I've already like wrecked my hand. Yeah, I'm pretty much just in fold mode until the next round begins. Biggie seems to be clearing safe tiles for me. Now I'll need to check what he had. To see if there was was worth it to score all defensive or not. Dude, I'm just like almost afraid of some surprise run here. And I was right to be afraid. Wow, all of these were dangerous. It looked like I could just start discarding them to be safe, but that was the trap. It would have been a lot more expensive if I had started discarding the trees. Although I didn't check out how expensive the hand was. I think I got distracted by Wiggy being in Tempai as well. Now let's see what we can do with this hand. I was planning on keeping this to begin with, but it's funny I threw it right here, so uh, it doesn't seem like worth it. And everyone had one each. Which of course I couldn't know, but I guess it was the right call.
I'm thinking I should go into some Tonyo Tempai here. If I can get there. Some luck, I can get some uh, extra door opened up if I can get a con. Yeah, this definitely lends itself to some sort of Tonyo. If I can pick up a red 4, I can keep this 3 as well, but it's probably gonna be one of the first things I throw away. I don't know when to get if I should get rid of one of the fours or one of the eights when the time comes. I mean I could potentially get a set of them as well. Of one Eat. Uh and I don't have any safe tiles. I just picked up one at least. Uh, I kinda wanna throw the eights, because there's many of them. And if one of them are safe, then I'm safe for three turns. The Vigi keeps supplying me with safe tiles again, so... How could I possibly turn down that? So the fours are safe, and I got a five, then... There's another three safe. I was really worried about throwing that three. Because it's so close to the one and two that went before it. Came out kinda late, right before his retreat as well, at least two. Well, at least I have safe tiles for at least three more turns now. Probably more. Simo. My five is dangerous. Guess it's a decent hand, it could have been a lot worse if he was the dealer. Which he is now. And that's double Dora for me. I don't have anything I can call on quickly though. I'm starting to ponder if I should go for a Tony out to double Dora. So I can make it come together. I was thinking of keeping that, because if I could get a pair of them and maybe someone discards, I can just call them whatever to the dodo. But no, I'm gonna go for the Tanya. Open Tanya is normally oh. not that good, but when I have double dodo, I think I can go for it. Biggie is really a fan of the quick calls. Oh. It should be pretty obvious for everyone what I'm doing. That doesn't mean they're gonna be completely safe. Because Biggie here seems to be going for the total opposite. So it kinda ends up being uh do they throw safe tiles versus me? And then risk dealing into Wiggy here. Home. Oh, this does not look good. Two pretty strong calls. Home. That's three strong calls. It means I'm worried about throwing the seven here, which just went through. I hope this wasn't a mistake. It's obviously going for the reds. Which is why I want to get rid of it now rather than later, because if it's not yet in Tempai and he just took something out of that. So he kept this, meaning that it's probably in Tempai right now. Oh, that's, that's a dangerous tile. Gee. Oh, it doesn't look like it's that expensive. So he kept a 4. Which makes me think that every blue tile is now dangerous. This should be safe instead. Yeah. Simo. Oh, sneaky wind. Wasn't worth that much though, so it's okay. Almost got there as well. But now is where it counts, since now is when I'm have when I have the dealer. And I almost have a Tanyao set up already. 
with one daughter. And I'm probably just gonna call if I get the option. Simply because I need to keep my dealer. The only thing that might stop my Tanya is if I get the normal of the East Wind. Home. Again, with the fast call on lines. So if I can get the set of the East Wind, then that's like two Yaku for uh, no effort. Anything else is fair game though. Still in the pair if I'm gonna make this with uses of five with this. Yeah, screw it, let's try more tiles that gives me Tony I don't really like this weight here though, because I need a seven which they're only three of. Oh what do you know? Cheat means I need preferably a red six or a no, a green five. Actually, no. I need a pair. That aren't, a f isn't a four. I need either green. Basically, I need a green four or six, or a red seven and eight, or eight rather. And I think it would be best to get either a green four or six, because I have a double-sided blade. Even though most, yeah, all the knights have gone. That actually might actually be a problem. So there's only three red, red sixes left. No, nah, I'm gonna go for it. I think it's worth it. And I can put on auto win because there's only uh, sixes left. That was Don't. quick. No reverse Dora, but I can't complain. 12k. Guess it might sort of do safe because it was in uh, Sonic's palm. Gives me a nice lead. Now, ideally, I want quick hand now. I actually want a pair of these so I can get a call and then maybe get some. Uh, I can get a con maybe. Gee. Yep, Sonic, I already am recording. Home. Oh Jesus. Now I don't want to throw either of these dragon tiles anymore. I definitely don't want to throw this one. And everything close to the 1, 2, 3 or 7, 8, 9 is now starting to look dangerous. Anything that isn't a 1 or 9 is less dangerous though. But yeah, I can't throw any of this. At least I have a pair of these so it looks less likely that he has uh, white dragon tiles. But I can't be sure of course. Ideally I'd want to get rid of the... Gee. The red one. So I can get into Tempai. But now it's starting to look less and less likely. I'm saying in chat, I'm just feeding digitals.
But well, on the other side it means I have tons should have at least tons of safe tiles. Everything here is safe against him pretty much. Now the problem is I'm gonna have to throw this tile right here to get into Tempai. And I'm not sure I wanna do that. Now this is gone twice and it's also gone from I didn't see it in this pond otherwise I could have drawn faster. This red is really annoying me. I don't think I can make it worse if there's suddenly like a uh, Ricci from someone over here. And this should be safe because he's called upon on the nines. So if he has the last nine as well then you know I'm screwed but looking at his discards if he was waiting on the eight that would have been a pretty big chance of him being in Puritan. And the reason I think this is safe is because he's discarded the one. And considering the hand it looks like he's going for there's no way he could be waiting on that unless he threw the one for one pair and had a one three in his hand. But there's already gone four ones, so that's impossible. I think a wait on something here is the most likely. Now this I definitely cannot throw no matter what. That's like right up his alley. He's also discarded the eight not too long ago, which means he might have paired his nine. So I think I need to just give up on this hand. This is actually safer. I probably gonna have to just start discarding this force. But the problem is if any of these here for or Sonic have progressed far enough to be in close proximity of Tempai, then the force could be really dangerous. Here for talking about honor tiles. Now that could be a trick just to get me to throw them as well, but no matter what, I'm keeping them. Okay, the four went through. Unless they get into Tempai in the next few rounds, then I should be good. I'm probably just gonna throw the rest of this force to stay safe. Actually, I'm gonna throw this. I just went into his pond like a round ago. And that gives me another two save tiles. Fives. Which I'm probably gonna throw because the fours still look more dangerous than the fives. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. If I threw the red I'd be dead, that's why I kept it for so long. But I got through it. Team Sonic is also holding on to one. Just solid play all around. It just it was so risky throwing it against him. But I guess the nine could also be as risky, but it's, I guess the longer it goes on the less chance he's waiting on nine. Because that won't give him the same bonus points, but then again, it was a pair he was waiting on. It's the only thing he could achieve by throwing the red and swapping it for a 9 would be maybe giving us like a round of safe tiles. Which probably isn't too good for him. So overall, good play from everyone I think. Now, he's, he is dealing this round. I'm gonna get rid of the 1 and 3 first, just because they're close to the Dora, and I need to get like a 2 or 4 to make this connect. And the 4 is just not that likely to get out if anyone's keeping him. I could get a 2, but it paid off because I got this 8 here. Now I could keep this, but it doesn't have as much connectivity as anything else. I'd rather wait to get something that connects with more things. Like a blue 4, uh, blue 7 would work wonders. 
That will actually put me into temper. A red four would well it wouldn't quite put me into tempo, but it would still be a good tile. Oh, I guess I should have kept No actually it wouldn't matter because I threw the tree I'd be stuck in food attempt. Eat Do I just fold? I think I just fold. Yeah, I just fold. My hand isn't worth nearly enough to warrant this. And there I just got two free safe tiles. Oh, that was a quick two more. Nine points. 8k. Oh, it's decent. Wiggy was dealer, so he could hit the hardest. I didn't take that hard of a blow. A little on the negative side for me, it takes him up from the last place. Well, he's still in last place, but you never want the last place to win. You ideally want the last place stuck in their swamp of sorrow. At least when you're in the lead. In okay, case Sonic and Biggie didn't mind that win that much. Okay, the reason I'm throwing the white instead of Mount Wind is the white is more likely that they're keeping him. So if the, no one has a parry out, I want to get rid of it faster and later. While my own wind. While it's not as likely that. Yeah, it doesn't matter now because I discarded, but. It's not as likely that anyone's gonna keep him for long if they get him, because it doesn't do anything for him. Now, I have pretty good connectivity over here. Now, the question is do I keep the 8 for a pair or do I get rid of something? I guess it depends on my draw, like this says a lot. Because I can get rid of one of the 8s now, but then I need like a 7 or 5 of the greens. That would be an ideal situation if I pick up a green 7 or 5. Home. I guess I could get a... Red 7 would actually be pretty damn good in this spot as well. Hung. Yeah, red 7 would actually be better. It gives me more points. I would have a tougher weight though, so it's kind of a double-edged sword. Home. I think it's more likely to win if I can pick up a uh, green 5 or 7. Well, actually, green 5 doesn't do that much for me. It does the same as the 7, but... Eat. Oh. Answer your question anyway. If I had a 7, I could get a weight in the 8s as well. Yeah, but now I'm waiting for the Dora. So if I get a Dora, then I guess extra points. Which I would have had if I picked up the 7 anyway. Don't. Oh, here for with this risky discard today. One reverse daughter as well. This hand looks like it has potential to go big, but I'm gonna have to risk a lot if I wanna do it. And it would probably be open, so it wouldn't be worth that much. Nah, I'm not gonna go for it. There's no point when I'm this far in the lead. Besides, I'm like one from seven pairs now. Which would be a really fast song. Oh, speak of the devil. Eat! hard way to predict really early and yeah I didn't even notice it's gone once that might actually be good for me no I'm just talking crap that's stupid I should have thrown the tree and that was just a mistake I didn't look at that pond I was just dumb I would have had an extra weight if I had thrown the tree and reached it on this instead 
So now I only have two outs instead of three. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see. I think it depends. They're really most likely to get a tree from Wiggy. Oh, I would have even had two modes. Yeah, that sucks. That was really stupid of me. Really, really stupid. It also makes a lot more sense waiting on it, because I have so many tiles isolating it here. So it's just gonna end up bothering their hands. Yeah, I just did a big mistake there, I think. They could just, I don't look at their pawns usually, unless there's a retreat for like the first three, four turns. Don't! Sonic will oblige my uh, retreat. It takes away his dealer as well. This hand can develop in a few different ways. Now if I can pick up a pair of anything here before someone discards it, that would be great. This song is dedicated to somebody that's been nothing short of amazing to the star. But I guess more than a decade now. I don't think that's gonna happen. No, it's not too bad. I mean, I wish this was a 4 instead. Because if I get a 2 now, that's gonna make me go into Fudu 10 later. And I'm just gonna end up having to discard both from later. I what does this look like? I mean, I can use the twos as a pair. And I can rid of one of the... I can rid of one of the ones. Eat! Well, I'm gonna get rid of it now anyway, because it's a safe tile. Besides, this looks... Good luck, he got rid of most of his other tiles. I think the safest tile I have to discard here is the tree. Which coincidentally is the tile I need to get into the Empire. Pick up of a red 4 would be perfect here. No, this is... No. I don't think it's worth it. Potential, I have potential to get into a uh, reach either. Depending on next three draws, but this just looks so dangerous. Well, I guess it wasn't. The three and six were. I guess I would have been safe if I just went ahead. Okay, it just progressed the game for me, that's good. And this is a perfect hand for being in the south fort when I'm in a massive lead. I could pretty much just call it crazy here and get a Taliano. I guess it depends on Sonic here. Oh, in the perfect. I don't need to go for Taliano even. If I can get the call on this. I'm just wondering if I can get a 1 or a 4 in the green, because two ones are already out. But yeah, I still need to get a call on the greens. And I need to, like, make something happen here as well. Unless I want to throw the two and eight. And that might have been stupid of me. I might have just screwed myself over because if I can't get the green now I need to like discard the blues and go for it now. 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna give up on it just yet. Still chance of getting up. Gee. Now, I could have kept the 6 there, but considering what I've already called around it. Boom! Let's keep risking it. Let's find out if someone else also had a pair. Not so big there, uh, PLA there. Thing is, when it gets to this point where we're in the like the kind of mid game, I think if it hasn't gone already, it's probably not gonna go. And judging by delay, someone else might already have it, just waiting to pick up another one. I guess I'll find out when I throw this one. Because with that delay, let's find out. Oh, no one called it. No, my problem is. I don't really have anything after a call in these fives, if I can even get a call in the fives. Yeet! And now I don't have any safe tiles either. And this is his wind. Okay. That's good. The problem is, anything I pick up could be lethal now. Oh no. Boom! Okay, that's not that bad. He saved me and put himself in third place. That's okay, I guess. That was the first game of the Margin Evening. I'll probably do some more of this very evening. So check out the other videos as well, I guess.